Well, welcome, viewers. Uh, here we are with Barry Peatney, of course, 1961 um, Premiership Rapunia star. Mm. And uh, so, hello, viewers. How's things going out there? All those viewers out there, I got a bit more sophisticated in my reading bit, last today. You got uh, a little bit more intelligent. More sophisticated. But, uh, uh, come on. So, last week there's been a bit of response to the video yeah, that we put response, on. Yeah. We put uh, the 1961 Premiership, the Premiership winning video of Rapunia for the Wimmera League, um, which people were excited about. Mm, so it was so, but now we've got to be put a few voices to it, see? So if That's you good. haven't seen that, check that out because it's got a bit of, it's got uh, original footage and probably never, besaw, never mm. no seen before. No one else has got it. No one else has got it. There it is. No on only film on this planet. The web for everyone Probably with me and Tom. Probably. Well, they can, anyone can download it now, so. Can they? The day has gone down. Well, I should put a, what do you call thing on it? Copyright. No, copyright. Yeah. So, uh, tell me, Barry, who was in the Rapunyips team? Are you going to run through for us the 1961 Grand Well, I'll show, I'll show the viewers that the, the original photo, the 1961 Rapunyips team there, but I won't read them all that, but I'll read the names aside. But the main ones is, uh, as a coach, Mick Simon. Uh, there's Barry Peaton next to him. There's Ian Morgan. Uh, my mate Johnny Ryan and the fellow I went up there with. Yes. And Morris Marks and Robert Dunlop, Bobby Vega. But I'll, do, I'll read the team out in a minute. I'll give it to both sides, but that's... Uh, the original photo, Colin. Pretty good photo, isn't it? Yeah, I saw that's in the um, the program as well. You've got the 1986 um, yeah, that little reunion program. Reunion thing, yeah. Hmm. And this big bath on you. Okay, well, give us a few of the names then. Um, yeah, I'll, the run through. I'll give the the, the Rapunia team from the back line. Bobby Baker in the back pocket. Jack, Johnny Cameron. I beg your pardon. Jack Dunlop's full back. Johnny Cameron out of the back pocket. The half pack flank is Jesse McRae. Hmm. Johnny Ryan and Jimmy Miller. The centre line was Peter Gertz, Mickey Simon, and Morris Marks. Half forward flanks were Barry Baker. Centre half four was Johnny Maxfield. Other half forward flank was Georgie Hooper. Forward pocket Brian Bartholomew. Ian Morgan four forward. Billy Peaton in the forward pocket. Rux and Robert Dunlop, Ian May, and Rover Kevin Northcott. Nineteenth and twentieth were Murray Mark and Graham Gale. Now the stall side, yes. from the back pocket, Ricky Scott, he was on me that felt, he'd give me, try to give me a bash around but I fixed him up. Uh, Ricky Scott, he played a good game too. Vince fell on full back. The back pocket was Noel Wraith, half-back flankers, Noel Rayburn, Bill Rathgaver and Eddie Pianta. And the centres were Johnny Stevens, Al Harris and Dougie Foster. half forward flanks, Spex Seary, Huey Boyd, the captain and coach, and Graham Sandler, another rover. Forward pop is Billy Nolder, Ray Adamsall and Russell Freeland. The followers were Ken Beck who played for Hawthorne, Merv Hayward and Johnny Sandler. And the reserves were Trevor Quarrell and Johnny Larkin. And there's a good line up. Okay, so those, are, last those are both of the line ups there. So Hmm. That's quite. A, well, you're going to go give us the goal kickers in that game. What was the final? Oh, you're going to give the final score in a minute. So yeah, I'll, I'll give, give us the goal kickers first. You can just read that out for the viewers. I'm fine. There's the the, the, co the comments before the game on the Friday night. Okay. And who was? You got to read. Put the camera on down there. You can read it out. And uh, okay. Well, I'll just read it to the viewers. Kevin, Kevin Smith from Denbore said, "I would like to see Rapunia take it off." Uh, but Stall's overall strength may be too great. Stall's main danger is dynamic rovers Kevin Northcott, uh, okay, and Barry Peatling. Mm. If um, if Stall rovers can get Big Ken's Bex knockouts, then Stall will be uh, home and hosed. And then Brian Hill from Japerit, he said Stall will be too strong all over the ground. Wrong, wasn't they? And uh, was definitely the best side Japerit played in the year. Stall's Biggest dangers will be Ian Morgan, Barry Peatling, and Bob Dunlop. There These players are. will be effective if it's dry, but the weather won't worry Stall. Well, they're both wrong, aren't they? What's what was the weather like? Perfect day. Okay. Did that help you? I wanted my nine girls, just got home. Did that help you being dry? No, nah, you might have. No. Play anyway. So, any weather. Okay, so you're going to give us the goal kickers. Yeah, I'll give the goal kickers. Uh, Ian Morgan kicks eight. Uh, Kevin Northcott kick four. Uh, where did I write the bloody things down? Just hold it. Yeah, and there's two to Brian Bartholomew and two to Pete Ling and uh, that was the main goal kickers. But uh, And the final scores. Yep. The final scores I've got here. 
I'll, I'll give you half. I'll give the half score quarter by quarter too. The first quarter, we painted with three goals to stall two three. Half time, we painted seven four to four seven. Yes. Three quarter time, twelve five, we painted up to seven thirteen stall. And the last score, stall never scored. We kicked eighteen goals five, which is unbelievable kicking. The seven thirteen, fifty five points, hundred thirty to fifty five points. And the umpire was uh, Alan Alan Hodgkin, Hodgkinson. Hudson. He was a very good VFL umpire. Oh, right? okay. Uh, and the crowd was 13,000 people. was still a record, which is uh, unbelievable when it's 50 years old. I just want to draw attention to this um, here, Rapunia Players Gallery, and it's like a, um, a sort of rundown of all the different players. And, and um, Mick Sybin got a few. So who, who got the biggest coverage? Barry Peatley. Barry Peatley, Farmer. Played the old Farmer, yeah. 36 games, first played 1960. Tenacious and fearless rover who marks well for his size, a nice kick and deadly round goals. Came back after serious injury at the end of the last season and finished third on the goal kicking list in 1961. Previous experience with Richmond thirds and seconds. Yeah, so right now. Yeah, sort of round and Dave. Now, we'll give just tell us, yeah, who the best players were. And the best players for Rapania were Ian Morgan, mm -hmm. Johnny Ryan, Kevin Northcote, Mick Sybin, B. Peatling, Georgie Hooper, and Robert Baker, Bobby Baker. Who the 1961 best and fairest? The 1961 best and fairest was Johnny Ryan first, Brian Barr following in second. And Barry Peatling third, which I should—I think I should have been a bit closer than that too. But uh, so was that your best and fairest, or was it the club? I best? was our best and fairest. I reckon I should have nearly won the best and fairest that year. Okay. The few, few people up there, uh, in the it wasn't too happy with me, but uh, and I should have won in '62, but I finished second in '62. But uh, there's a few people. They know where they are. That uh, don't know what reason, but uh, anyway. But Johnny Ryan played well that year. Well, Had a good on. year. Um, so who won the Rapania Goal Kicking Award? Well, just how it happens that Ian Morgan, who only played 10 or 11 games at the most, he finished up with 69, and caught yours truly, Barry Pitling, finished second with 60 goals. Hmm, that's not bad. Nine goals behind at the He had a few more games, though. That's yeah, the beat, the beat, but 60 goals, it's still, it's still a record for a rover, Colin. Yeah. And it's still a record, Colin, for a rover in the Wimmer League. Hmm. Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Now, tell us... Uh, so 1961 is quite a few years ago. Is there any players that have deceased? Yes, there has. I did write that down somewhere, yeah. There's four people. There's Georgie Hooper, who died about eight years ago. Uh, Johnny Maxwell only died eight months ago. Mick Sybin died... We over 12 months mix on. We, we done a bit of a coverage of mix on. That's months. right. Yes, um, we did a little um, simple piece and uh, tribute piece for him. And Kevin Northcote, he died about two years ago. Went to his funeral. Mm. So there's one, two, three, four. It's not bad. Out of uh, 22, it's still living. Hmm. Very interesting. It was. Now here's the final ladder of the season too. We've got here. We've got nil on top with 60 points, 132 percent. Rapania finished second with 56 points, the best percentage of the whole lot, 142. Stall finished third with 128, and Warrickville fourth with 123. Mm. And the coaches were Mick Cyber, who coached Rapania, and Huey Boyd coached Stall. Oh, okay, some good, good facts here. Now, just tell us about this. We've got these um, it's a headline here, the headlines here. It's the lab-based paper. But, uh, it's Rapania Stall Lack Power. Well, that's interesting because I remember reading in this other article here, um, well, not the other article, this other article over here, yeah, like it's going that they strong. said they were too strong and yeah. too much power. So How wrong were they? How wrong were they? So this is by Murray Lawson. This is a big article, this one. Here's those, um, here's those players George there. George Huber taking a spectacular mark there. Played a good game that day, George Huber. And there's a couple of store boys, but they, they said you're workmanlike, Colin Wilson. Do you know who Colin Wilson is? Yeah. He used to play for us and coach a horse one. He was a good mate of mine, Colin, wasn't he? He's still okay. up there. Okay, so... He's still up in horses. Oh, that's interesting. Tempers boil over is the headline here. That's the same one we saw on the video last week. Yeah, that's video. in the video. That's taken off my video. It is, because that's the same photo. And I actually, I didn't start the blue, but uh, some other mug had a go at me, having a go at Kevin Northcott, and I 
jumped in there and uh, Johnny Ryan jumped in and there was Huey Boyd and Larry Hart. There's a bit of a, a big punch up in the middle there, but there's no one reported. But they all come from everywhere. And this is from the Mail Women of Time. It's the loveliest day of the year. Yeah, that's a, a Mario Lanza reference. Yeah, that's the coach of Repugnant Mixed Ivan. That was on the video too. I uh, must have taken that. Oh, here's the coach. Where's the coach point? In the middle. They carry, remember Captain on the video Cal last week they carried him off? Who's the other fellow with the teeth in the year? He just died last year. Russell Dunlop. Murray Dunlop. Murray he just died last year. to Robert Dunlop. Yeah. And that's Mick's wife, Judy Sivan. She was a good looker. But Mick, that was, uh, they carry him off the ground. Smallest town, the biggest prize. Repugnum, Repugnum hits the high spots. Yeah, we got the headlines, made the headlines in the sun that uh, year too. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on from that and uh, talk about you, you You recently, or you done some time ago, Barry Peatling's Repugna Team of the Century. Yeah, I picked this a couple of years ago. I finally got her to air. I, I gave my team of the 60s last year, 18 months ago. But I picked this team. I've given a fair bit of thought the last few months. and. Uh, Come up, come up with it. So you can read about that and I'll... Okay, so you've got, in the back line, you've got... Um, Kay Dickinson. Kevin Dickinson, yeah, back popper player. It represented the Women League a couple of times. Tyler and Baker. Now, these fellows I didn't actually see, but they've been they've got reports. Timmy Tyler played for a pen yet, of course, but he went down to Essen and played a lot of games with Essen on half and half back flank. He deserved his spot of full back, just in front of Jackie Dunlop, who, who did, who does hold the record for most games, Jackie Dunlop, 268, okay. doesn't it? And now the back popper, we've got Bobby Baker, very good, strong, straight ahead footballer. Tough man too. On the other half, on the half back flank, Roger Edwards. His two brothers come down to Repugnant back in the early 60s, him and Bill Edwards, but Roger Edwards a class. He went down to Fitzroy, played a few games down there. And Greg Bell, centre half back, went down to Essendon, played a couple of seasons down Essendon, centre half back. Very good football. My mate Johnny Ryan, got him in there on the half back flank. We went up to Repugnant together. And on the wing, uh, this fellow Evans, he played in the 80s. I've seen him play. He was uh, very good football, good wingman, class football. And in the middle we've got Mickey Simon, he just picks himself without any worries about that at all, played forever and uh, he's one of the best players in the competition, let alone here. And on the other wing is Morris Marks, champion winger, we all know about Morris Marks. On the half forward flank we've got Paul Brooks who coached for a in the 80s for three years, a superstar the fellow was, a superstar Colin. Mm -hmm. Sent the centre forward uh, Jimmy Gull, didn't see him play, but I did see him play in the interleague game, inter game in, in uh, early in 62. He, he's held the record with 21 goals in one game. Wow. On the half forward flank of John Sudos, played very good football with Repentant, went down to South Melbourne, played for five years down there. Other forward pocket we've got Kevin Northcott, my other rover, everyone knows Kevin Northcott. The full forward of course is Ian Morgan. And in the forward pocket is Ian Morgan's son, Paul Morgan, who's oh, he, he's kicked 1,300 goals. Yeah. 1,300 goals. That's a lot of goals, isn't it? In the ruck, we've got Robert Dunlop and Maxie Matheson. In the row, we've got Bee Peatling, vice captain. In the we've got Dougie Matthews, Johnny Cameron, Brian Bartholomew, Kerry Sprake, Peter Gertz, and Tazzy Matheson. So that's my team of the century. And people might have a little few things to say about that, but feel yeah, free. Feel free. So we have a fair bit of coverage here of the... Um well, it's a good thing, because Rangit, Rapunyip back in, in the early 60s, in, in that 61 grand final fight, it was, the town was packed. There were 750 people in the town that night. Hmm. Oh, well. I never bought a drink for two weeks. Wow. You just wow. drink for you all the time. But it was a very good... Uh, of course, the following year, we just got back in the Plymouth. We should have won three in a row. Yeah. Now, um, you're going to give us some news about Chelsea. Yeah, I've I got some... Well, not a different, mate. It's true that uh, they was just had the um, the board meeting or the, the AGM, annual AGM. The AGM. I didn't go over. I was coming back after yesterday. I dropped the paper, and I was seeing a couple of fellows come out, and I said, "What's going on?" So the new president is Graham Denelm, who's Heath and Brett and Patty Denelm's father. The coach is called Paul Erica. Paul Erica, who comes from the Frankston Dolphins. Frankston Dolphins in the VFL. I think he's a uh, fitness fitness coach I think, I'm not sure, but it's all done now either and Stephen and Stevie Garden has gone coaching the second I think. Mm. Got from the eighteenth to set the second. That's interesting. Well he's done a good job of the under eighteen, you see. So that's 
I don't know when they're going to start training. Well, that's just probably another couple of weeks, I reckon. So it's a bit, it's a bit happening. So it's exciting. So um, it w will be that's like a bit, new bit of blood into the club. Come you'll on. be getting some updates from Barry here through in the next six months. We'll be getting periodical next updates. Next few weeks, Colin. Next few weeks, yeah. I'll and updates until the season starts. I presume they'll be, they'll have these recruits already sort of locked in or whatever. I mean, we've got to have at least four or five recruits mm. to be competitive this, this year, or next year. Well, well hopefully we'll, uh, we'll look forward to that. So that was, uh, I've been looking forward to doing this for a pan, you've sort of, uh, we've done the video last week and I give the, the punters out there a bit of a knowledge who was playing against each other, who won the goal kick and what schools it was and who umpired and... All the updates. Very good. Well, that's goodbye that's from goodbye me. Goodbye from me and see you in the future. <laughs>